How do you find yourself as a as a judge on a on a TV show? Um, sorry, you mean how how do I incorporate that in everything else I do, or sorry. how or how did somebody else find me to do that? Or sorry, um, uh, no. How did how did you how did you wind up there? Ah, and then and then later the question is going to be how do you manage that with a shooting schedule? But I'll, I'll get to that one in a second. Oh, gotcha. Well, um, I was very lucky, obviously. Um, I think uh, I had been asked to do reality television a few times before. But uh, to be honest, it was never attractive to me. I, I'm not a person, I think, who thrives on attention. And to some degree, maybe I shy away from it a little more, although I think I'm starting to get used to it. Um, but because Ellen DeGeneres produces the show, and that also bears her name, I knew that the message was always going to be positive. And the first season, I was just a guest judge. And I really got a lot out of it. I really felt like um, it, was, it was nice to share thoughts with with people, it's nice to be asked, or it's nice that people care what I think too. But it's also very nice to feel like I am helping support someone who's trying to figure things out in their creative career. Um, when I when I was in college, I I don't know if I've ever been an egghead, but I, but maybe I sort of felt eggheaded a little bit for a while there. And I thought, oh, the only thing I can do with all this information is teach. And I didn't because I didn't really feel like it wasn't obvious to me that I might become a more creative person. It was more that that I, I I would kind of construct and deconstruct things in my heads based on in my head based on on my historical knowledge of of an aesthetic. Um, so I thought, oh well, maybe I'll teach at art center. Maybe I'll write about the arts uh, or design or fashion or something. And I did a little bit of that for a while too. Um, so I didn't really expect to to come into to any kind of creative life for myself, but fortunately, my parents gave me a lot of freedom and a lot of s support and encouragement. And as things kind of progressed, anything that 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 crossed my path that was intriguing, I felt like I had the freedom to pursue it. And somehow, it ended up becoming this. Um, when when it came time to to do some work with with the show, one of the things that I remembered the most is is sort of feeling like I had support and encouragement and some very good professors to help kind of guide my inspirations and thoughts and and that's what's nice about being on the show is that I'm you know I'm, I I hope I'm not just a talking head you know and, and I'm not just a co-host where I'm also a mentor and a judge and I I'd like to think that that my commentary is is always hopefully thoughtful and and uh, um, helpful, uh, maybe, maybe, uh, and fair, of course, as well. So it's nice to have an opportunity to be all those things for, for I think, someone who really receives it or appreciates it. And that's the best part of being on that show for me. Hello. 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 